due to climate change, the sea ice is not frozen for as long every year, and if that continues and continues to get worse, we're gonna lose a lot of the polar bears out in the wild. And polar bears feed almost exclusively on ring seals and bearded seals. They need that sea ice to be able to find their food and hunt their food and to be able to breed. Um, so if we don't have that, we're gonna lose a lot of the polar bears out in the wild. Everybody seems to be focused on polar bears right now uh, because it, you, can, you can see what's going on with them and you can count the number of babies made and uh, you can get a real read on them. So uh, climate change is, is great importance to the global animal population. It's important to have them out in the wild living in their natural environment. The polar bears need that ice to be able to hunt the seals because seals swim way faster than a polar bear. So they can't catch a seal in open water. They need that ice and they'll basically, what they'll do is they'll either sit by their breathing holes and wait for the seal to pop up and grab it there. Or they'll um, kind of stalk a seal that's basking out on the sea ice. Anything to reduce your carbon footprint. So recycling, um, be, buying recycled products is really important too and supporting like green companies. Because um, if we're doing all this recycling but nobody's buying the recycled products, it's not really doing a whole lot of good. Um, you can go out and plant trees, which is kind of a fun thing to do if you have a family. Because um, the trees take in a lot of that carbon, so it helps reduce the carbon footprint. Um, carpooling, I mean there's just a ton of things that you can do to 